All right, time for a little bit of a fall fishing report and uh, some fall fishing tips, especially for spotted bass in the fall as we transition into winter. Uh, this is the time of year we're starting to get some forecasted days with nights going to be in the 30s and 40s and all that. The fall throws all of us a curveball. The fall has always been a time for myself personally that can be really, really hit or miss. You got essentially you just got a transition time. We got fish moving from a summer pattern. Temperatures are dropping, so they're heading to the winter deal. And in my opinion, you really got two different types of fish that you can look for. You're going to have fish that tend to relate a lot of times to bait. They feed on herring feed on thread fin. Fish, they are 100% focused on bait. You've also got a lot of fish too that are, they kind of uh, adapt to the situation. You got temperatures dropping, so they're gonna kind of relate more to rocks and they'll feed on a little bit of all of the above. Herring, shad, crawfish, bluegill, spot tail minnows, whatever's available. So in my opinion, you've really got two different types of bites that you can look for. So early in the fall, it's November, you're gonna find a lot of those fish that are bait oriented you'll still find them around stripers and as in my opinion as the season continues to progress that's a lot of the fish that you're going to find in the timber you'll catch them deep 30 40 50 60 feet some lakes maybe even deeper than that so early in the year like right now early in the season i'm referring to you're going to catch a lot of those fish if they're up high jerk baits spy baits crank baits things like that but as they get deeper you're going to catch a lot of those fish on underspins, uh, finesse uh, swim baits, like a minnows, slim swims, things like that, down real deep, like on a quarter ounce head. Uh, and even on into the winter, you'll catch a lot of them on like jigging spoons, baits like that, drop shots, all that. But on the other end of things, as the temperatures drop, fish metabolism is gonna slow down. So you're gonna have fish that are gonna relate to rocks. And that's just not just spotted bass, that's all fish in general, all bass in the Southeast. When temperatures get cool, you're going to find fish around hard targets like concrete, rocks, chunk rock, natural stuff, gravel, whatever. It holds heat, but it also holds food. A lot of crawfish available and allows the fish to live in a stable area and have food readily available. Uh, a lot of times you'll find them on steep rocks on certain places like bluff walls, bridge corners, things of that nature. So for those fish, again, early in the fall, I'll catch a lot of those fish on jerk baits, spinner baits, crank baits, if the weather and the wind is, uh, you know, it's moving around, it's a good way to cover water. But when it gets cooler, you're gonna find baits like a, uh, like a lot of the Ned Rig applications work very, very good in the fall, winter, and on into the early spring. They work good all year, but I like baits that have little tentacles on the back of them, like a little hula sticks or a bang sticks. Um, it's just a great crawfish imitation. They also work good on the back of a jig trailer, as, as a jig trailer as well. Uh, you'll catch those fish on a jig, um, but just take time. And once you've found some with your moving baits, go back, kind of pick it apart. And I promise you, you'll catch more fish. And sometimes you will find big schools in the fall as they kind of group up and then move back to certain areas, ditches and things like that. So hopefully that helps you guys just to kind of give you a general idea on what to look for in the fall. Best of luck and don't ever mistake cold weather for bad fishing. A lot of times it can be some of the best days that you'll find the whole year. You just put in the work and get out there. It's all about trial and error, guys. Good luck.